What is this, like a doctor's kit? Han's workshop. Wanna kinda go into the attic? What the hell is that? What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another abandoned adventure. Today I'm giving you guys a very sketchy house that was apparently owned by a Nazi. And apparently the Nazi that lived in this house was a big fan of like the whole Nazi stuff. Um, and apparently there's like an actual certification that this dude was a Nazi inside this house because this isn't just any abandoned house. There's actually everything left inside. Apparently the family that lived here died off and they just left this house. It's just running away now but everything is still inside of it. So I'm gonna give you guys an abandoned explorer. Now I've seen pictures of this certification that this dude is a certified Nazi. Like I'm not even joking. Um, we just have to find it. It's somewhere inside of this place. I'm joined with my friend Carlo and Angelo and we are, well, we came here last night. Let's just say we came here last night at like two o'clock in the morning. It was really sketchy and we're like, hey, you know what? Let's just come back and film this place in the daytime because there are a lot of nosy neighbors around and security can be popping up on us any minute now. So we got to really, really be careful. But yeah, guys, I've actually seen photos um, of the certificate. So I, it's not here. It's somewhere upstairs. But apparently the person that lived here did love Nazis for some reason. Don't know why apparently he wanted to be one or he was one and he was just hiding out in this country after the war with hitler and all that stuff but we're gonna find out if he actually was a nazi or not i tend to stay away from abandoned houses nowadays because they're usually empty and boring and not much going on inside of them but this one has so much inside of it like almost everything left inside let's go ahead and explore and this is just one of those rooms i guess it's like the sunroom and you know, we got the kitchen area over here. We got Carlo. Scared the crap out of me. I'm keeping safe. Oh, okay. Carlo's keeping an eye out on this place. So yeah, we came here at nighttime. I didn't get to really explore it. We were kind of like sketched out to be here. So we came back in the daytime. Place is super old, as you guys can see. Lots of stuff left behind. It's always very rare to find stuff left behind inside of these abandoned houses nowadays. People do destroy them and they just take everything from inside them. Oh, look at this. There's like shoes. Oh, there's a basement. I didn't see the basement yesterday. Whoa. There is so much in this garage. I cannot wait to come back out here. I do want to go explore upstairs. Oh, there's a dead mouse or a dead rat. That's nasty. Check out this old German style lamp over here. You don't see this in abandoned houses nowadays. So cool. And you got the entire shelf full of books over here. This is really interesting, right? I think this is German writing, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this has got to be German, German writing. The new book of knowledge. Ooh, there's a new book of knowledge. Because the old book was not that knowledgeable. What kind of book was this? We got some more stuff with German. Um, oh, we got stuff from World War II. Whoa, look at this. There are pictures or these are cds from songs like world war ii songs that is so cool oh my god that's cool that is really cool i don't know open this i'm just gonna leave it back where i found it threw a kiss into the ocean now this is what i love these type of houses that actually have stuff left behind god knows if there's like any books that actually have like money or hidden things inside of them you know some people hide stuff in books but it'd be nice to find that certificate. That's what we came here for, to find the Nazi certificate. Will we find it? I don't know, we might. Check out all these like creepy dolls in the living room. Look at this old fan over here. And then you got all these like porcelain dolls. Probably haunted too. Now this place has been abandoned for a long time. Oh my God, look at this Vanessa doll. So creepy. Oh my God, we got Titanic. What? Look at this. We got Titanic movies. <laughs> nice. Brand new in the box too. That's nice. It is. It's sealed. It's sealed. It looks sealed. <laughs> huh. That's nice. cool. 
we got the Titanic and the Nazi house and we got all these like little dolls everywhere little car over here that's cool and then we have more dolls on this side so from what I was told oh my god this one is freaking terrifying from what I was told this house was not um, like this a few weeks ago it was actually like in good condition but someone's come in and kind of trashed it a little bit it's not too too trash but it's uh, it's had somebody come in here and do something to it now here's the thing this house actually is like a treasure chest what kind of treasures are we gonna find inside obviously we don't take stuff we just document the abandoned but like look at this there's so much left behind we got more old school books over here I guess this person would love to read but I want to find that damn certificate Somebody might have taken it to be honest because a friend of ours was here like a week ago and he took a picture and he showed us it But we came last night. I mean really late. We didn't find it But maybe in the daytime we'll get a better looking at it. What kind of book is this? So many books Some of you guys love to read so you guys would probably appreciate seeing all these books left behind And then we got another doll over here. Look at this doll now this girl is creepy. Did you find the Nazi certificate? No, I have no idea where it is. And it looks like somebody may have been in here recently. Really? Like since yesterday. Like we were here last night? Yeah. Really? I think somebody went through some stuff upstairs. I think somebody kicked a hole in the wall because that wasn't there yesterday. Yeah, I don't remember that. Being so there was like a, a book with like World War II songs and CDs. That's pretty cool. And there's a lot of German books. Mm. So this dude was German. Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of German books up there on the shelf too. All right, well, like I said, guys, it's like a treasure chest. We came here looking for that certificate, but I think somebody beat us to it. We, obviously, we weren't going to take it. We just wanted to document it and show it to you guys. But this is the upstairs area, just full of stuff. I'm going to go through each room as quickly as I can. Look at this. I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. This is a cell phone for those that don't know, a burner phone. It's not even a Motorola. It's a, it's a audio box. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, so apparently that certificate was supposed to be somewhere in this area. But somebody actually might have taken it. I'm gonna look for it though. I gotta find it. Look at this little um, box. It's got like German writing on it. I'm not sure what it says. If you know German, or I could be wrong. Maybe the same thing. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what kind of language this is. What's in here? In there. I love houses like this. Because it's always like a treasure chest. Like, what are you going to find, you know? You just never know sometimes. Yeah, definitely no certificate in here. What about the closet? Nope. Empty. Someone had to have come by and like actually stole it apparently it was in like one of these type of things look at this old school throwaway camera it's been a long time since i've seen one of these too i wonder what kind of photos are on this thing well we got music person liked music i guess it's very interesting how a lot of times when i go to abandoned houses that belong to like someone German um, there's always like dolls it's weird it's like they have a fascination with dolls I could be wrong but I've, I've, I've put this kind of to the test almost every time I go to like an abandoned house and we know it used to belong to like a German family there's always a doll always dolls involved it's so weird well I don't see a certificate anywhere um, I'm gonna put a picture of that certificate that I'm telling you about on the screen this is exactly what it looks like um, but uh, it's it's definitely not here. Somebody might have stolen it. Shh. What? He's on the side of the house. Who is? The neighbor. The dude with the tractor. No way. There's a guy outside. Well, if he's on a tractor, he's not going to be able to hear us. Yeah. But let's just make sure he doesn't see us. <laughs> I want to see him. Uh, we got a nosy neighbor outside. I don't 
haven't seen anyone outside. No. You saw him? He was in an orange tractor? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I did hear the tractor, but I didn't see a neighbor. But we just gotta be very cautious. Although this is an abandoned house, a lot of times with abandoned houses, there's always like nosy people hanging around. They wanna call the cops for some reason. I mean, I get it. People come in and destroy places, but we just wanna film abandoned. And a lot of times these people are using this abandoned property to their own benefit illegally. So they try to make it seem like it's their own place when it's not. I'm in the bathroom right now and there is a lot of junk on the floor. There's some nude magazines too, which I cannot show you. But somebody really trashed this place. So many books. Crazy. Mockingbird. Oh, there's an attic space up there. Full of stuff too. Guys, check out this creepy doll that I just found. Whoa, there's another one over here behind the TV. That's so creepy. Why are there so many dolls in this place? There are like so many creepy dolls in this place. <laughs> I'm gonna call this a doll house instead of a Nazi house. Oh, there goes the neighbor with the tractor. All right, so that was a close one. Whew, close call. What do we got going on in here? We got some clothes. Just tucked into my shirt. I actually just felt something tug on my shirt. That was weird. Did you do that, Mr. Doll or Mrs. Doll? No, you probably did that, didn't you? Let's see what's inside of this room. This looked like it was like a an office space of some sort. Oh, we got pictures. Oh, these people are probably long gone, but this is probably the dude. This is the dude. This is the dude that. Apparently it was a Nazi. There's a lot of the photos over here of musicians. I don't know much about music, so I don't know who this could be. Looks like this person had a train collection at some point as well. Hey, look at this. A picture of the former Prime Minister of Canada when Canada was actually a good country and a democratic country. Man. Be nice to have this guy back. There's all these like floppy disks in here and like CDs, hard drives. I guess the person that lived here was like trying to become a hacker or maybe he was a hacker at some point. We got some more German stuff. No clue what it says. Again, make sure let me know in the comments below if you guys know. So I, I want to kind of go into the attic the hell was that? Did you hear that? What was that? It sounded like somebody just walked up the stairs. You heard that too? Heard I've been standing right here. Was that you? No. I heard somebody walking up the. You? No, I heard somebody walking up the stairs. Like actually. I heard that too. I was like taking a picture over here. Wanna kind of go into the attic? Wanna kind of go into the attic? Wanna kind of go into the attic? I thought you were like walking up the stairs or something. No, no, no. I, I was gonna, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna turn around. Why didn't you guys move this doll, by the way? Uh, I moved a doll, but I don't think it was that one. Which one are you talking about? Doll beam. No, I didn't move that They're one. They're staring into my soul. No, <laughs> I, I didn't move that one. But yo, I found you something. That's weird. You're gonna like this. Oh, is that it? No, it's something better. Oh, what is it? Something. Oh, okay. When, when Canada was a better country? <laughs> Marginally. <laughs> Marginally. <laughs> it wasn't that great, but it was still better than what it is now. Better, better, than, better than the idiot we have now, seriously. So there's a bunch of stuff in the attic. Like, I, I picked up in there. I might go up there right now. All right, let's go and see if there's anything in the attic. Holy shit, it's hot up here. Whoa. There's so much stuff up here. Oh, I got a flashlight, yeah. Come on. Look at this old, old train. It's almost like a postcard. Oh my god, dude. Everything's up here. 
Luggage. Yo, we got. We all gotta get up here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. There's like newspa old newspapers there. It's so hot up here, though. It's like a sauna. <laughs> Let's go into the attic. Anyone in here? Making sure no one's up in the attic. Whoa. Whoa. This is crazy. It's as hot as a sauna up in here. Look at all these like old school. What is this? Like a doctor's kit? It's like bills and stuff. Guys, this is so unbelievably cool. There's like all these old purse, uh, not purses, but like luggage cases. Nothing. Empty. Man, there's like so much stuff here. It'd take us forever to probably go through this. Gotta be careful where I step. I don't want to step on the floor. Question is, is where's the Nazi treasure hiding? Where do he hide his Nazi treasure? Imagine that. Imagine when I find like Nazi treasures everywhere. Well, that would be cool. People leave the weirdest shit in their attics. Especially when the house has become abandoned. The family members do not want to like make the effort to come up here and actually get anything. So a lot is left behind. All right, let's see if we can find anything super cool up in here. Old school baby toys. Got more kids toys. I guess it's like all the stuff that you know, that didn't need over time. All right, I'm coming down. It's so hard to breathe up here. It's so hot. Long. Does this mean anything to you? What? Hockey card? Yeah. Who's that? Jagger. Uh, he's okay. Not, not worth anything? No. <laughs> no. Dude, that sauna is, uh, that sauna, that uh, attic is like a sauna. It's so hot. I'm sweating. Is there a lot of stuff in there? There's a lot of stuff in there, but it was too hot for me to stay up there. Let's go and check out the basement. I haven't gone down to the basement just yet. I'm gonna keep this uncut from now on. That's so strange how I heard somebody like walking down the stairs or up the stairs earlier. Don't know what that was about. Love this house though. Reminds me of, although I've never been to Germany, it just tells me like German people lived here from the decorations to everything inside this place. Look at this trap door. Is this an escape hatch? Or a quick patch job, one or the other. Let's go down to the basement. Where is the basement? I thought I saw the staircase for it earlier. Uh huh. I have located it. Oh, it's so nice and cold down here. Whoa. What? Oh my god. What? Everything is down here. This is crazy. Look at all this. There's so much stuff here. Oh my god. It's all antiques. Usually stuff you find in like the antique, like flea markets. People take them from abandoned houses and they sell them. Um, in their flea markets. But like everything down here is ancient and antique. Wow. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Like, where do you even start? All the homies closing. Washer and dryer. This is like one of those basements where like in the movies, you get locked in and some serial killer like tortures you for months and months on end. And eventually you escape and get away. Only to get caught again and then die. It does smell like a car part yard. <laughs> But keep in mind, keep in mind, well, he was an engineer, this guy. He had like a license for like being an engineer in the armed forces or something like that. I think he was in the Canadian armed forces. Yeah. But keep in mind, back in those days, everybody would fix their cars rather than, like they would keep parts and they would rebuild them and stuff. Wow. So cool. This is one of those 
hidden gems. I haven't filmed like this or something like this in a very long time. Oh, I found a gun. Yeah. Oh, that gun? Pressure washer gun. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pressure washer gun. That's so cool. <gasps> oh, I thought these were bullets. No, those aren't bullets. It's a sound uh, music thing. Now that would be cool if you found like a whole box of bullets. Wow. There's a whole garage, by the way, outside just full of stuff. Oh, look, you had a hair salon here, too. You had a whole ass hair salon. The clippers, you had the sink, the mirror. I guess he would do all his haircuts here, maybe. <laughs> oh, there's like a million serpentine belts for cars over here. And what else is in here? Holy shit, there's like so much junk. Wow. Now, I don't have any information on when this place became abandoned, but it seems like it's been abandoned for a while. It just sucks that we couldn't find that. Um, but we have a picture of it, right? Of what? Of the uh, certificate. Yeah, Jamie Our friend Jamie has a certificate, so that's the one that I put in the video for you guys. Yeah. This guy was part of the Oldsmobile Club. <laughs> yeah. Reminds he owned, me of... He owned several Oldsmobiles. Yeah. Reminds me of Carlo. Carlo! You're part of the Oldsmobile Club, buddy. Wherever oh, the hell is. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the basement the basement was cool and it was really like colder, so it helped yeah, it was out. Kind of nice down here. Well I was at the beach this morning and it kinda of got sunburnt. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys into the garage, but I'm gonna be very quiet. Because that nosy neighbor could be around here somewhere. So let's go and check out the garage. Really? Oh wow, there's so much stuff here. It's really big too. Look at all this stuff left behind, Jesus. Wow, we, I'm telling you guys, it's rare to find abandoned houses like this nowadays. With old school parts, everything left behind. Hans workshop, that's funny. Oh wow, it's a really messed up looking knife. Well, if you still don't believe that this dude was German, I mean, I don't know what else to give you guys. I mean, I'm not saying this guy was an actual Nazi, but he had a certificate that apparently claimed he was a Nazi, or is a Nazi, or he, he was, he's dead. But we just can't find it. Our friend documented it, and then he left it here, but somebody else stole it, I guess. Maybe one of his Nazi friends knew there was people coming here holy shit this just keeps going and going what the hell yo i'm in the garage there's like so much stuff here there's car parts everywhere scary look at all these spark plugs license plates everywhere jeez was this guy like into like stealing cars or something there's like license plates everywhere carburetor <laughs> this guy had like a an entire workshop here in his house now he could have just been working on his own vehicles, but this is a lot of stuff. This kind of tells me that this guy was like stripping cars or something. Whoa. No, that's not a noose. I mean, it looks like it. It's just a rope though. What is that noise? Something moving over here.
We got more nuts and bolts and spark plug wires. Lots of car parts everywhere. We got clutch, clutch assemblies for transmissions and clutches. Manual transmissions, of course. Got this old saw over here. This is such a weird place. It really gives off like the eeriest of vibes. Let's go down this way. Whoa. Just so much left behind. I wonder if there's anything inside of this fridge. What do you guys think? Should I open it? Oh, it's empty. Surprising. Look at all this carpentry tools. I think this dude was like stealing cars and stripping them here. No, they probably just buying parts. You think so? Because like, there's parts everywhere. Yeah. It's possible. I know people who do the same thing. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what an eerie place. The garage is such it a is. scary and eerie vibe. I wonder if I missed anything. Well, we didn't find the... Um, oh my god, look at the fridge. Oh. Oh. Never open the fridge. Oh. Never open the fridge. I mean, it was already half open. It doesn't even actually smell. Dude, there's a whole box of ice cream that's never been opened. You should, uh, Carlo should get it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want Carlo to die. Not yet, at least. I know this video is kind of more on like the mellow side, but guys, I have no choice. I can't be loud in this place because there is a, a nosy neighbor that comes and goes and we don't want to get in trouble with him. So I hope you guys are enjoying this adventure. Please smash the like button. Um, I know a lot of you guys only like the videos where like, I'm getting almost killed and being chased by cops, and, but this is still very thrilling. Like I'm risking going to jail, risking getting trouble just to give you guys an adventure. So I really do hope you appreciate it. And from the bottom of my heart, I really mean it when I say this. Thank you all so much. If you come back here every time I upload a video, I do appreciate you and I do love you and I do wish I could meet each and every one of you guys because you guys are honestly special to me. And if it wasn't for y'all, I would not be doing this. So thank you so much. I think at one point in time, this house was being auctioned off with everything inside of it because literally everything has numbers on it, like in green, like two daughters, two daughters, ten dollars. So I think maybe they tried to like sell everything at one point and whatever was left behind is what didn't get sold, what people didn't want. Like for instance, something like this. Um, it's a, a pen holder and something like this. 50 cents for a bell. 10 for this with the whole set. So it is possible that all this at one point was being auctioned off and this was what was left behind.